It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from De Konig in Belgium and it's a bottle of their Tripled Anders. Belgium Triple coming in at 8% ABV. There's a look at the bottle label. There's a look at the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. I'd like to disclose at this stage that the beer was kindly sent to me by the brewery. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. But of course, we give an open, honest beer review, regardless of where the beer come from. We've got a three finger white head. It's a light, crisp looking, lovely carbonated, clear Belgium triple. It's the color it's a very light amber, almost straw coloured ale. You could, this very much, if, you, if we're being honest, very much looking like a lager. A light lager, a light pilsner. Let's get the aroma. That smells lovely. I've actually been to this brewery. Uh, it's, it's in where we call it, Antwerp. I think it's Antwerp. Let's have a look. Yeah, it, it's from they're from Antwerp in Belgium. Uh, I've been there. I just remember them maturing cheese in the brewery, brewing beer. Oh, just, the food was fantastic. The beer was incredible. I didn't get the to, to to try any of the cheese, but it looked just fantastic let's dive in I've not really spoken about the beer well let's hold up a bit let's talk to you about the the aroma a bit first a little bit of lemon a little bit of spice a little bit of orange peel biscuit malt yeah it uh, smells good let's dive in cheers Dry, crisp, refreshing, peppery, spicy, very dry, very, very dry beer. But the Belgian, the Belgian style is, the Belgian style of beer is, especially when you get up to maybe seven, eight percent. You either get lots of sweetness from a Belgian beer with the candied sugar, or you get the other end of the scale which is very very dry nicely carbonated very dry but very crisp and refreshing at the same time i like that we really do um such a plum such a Such a marmalade, lemony, orangey marmalade. You know the marmalade where you get, you get a string of orange in it. Really lovely, lovely jammy, fruity beer. You can see, have a look at this. You can see it's bottle conditioned. You can see uh, it's gonna change. It's gonna become hazy. Have a look at this now, guys. There you go. That's a very different prospect from what we were just looking at. We were just looking at a clear beer. Now we're looking at something rather hazy, good levels of carbonation. But the beer will taste the same. Uh, if you're new to the channel, if you're indeed new to beer, it's the second fermentation process. It's a bottle conditioned beer. It's the natural decade old century. <laughs> They've been brewing beers like this for hundreds of years where they put a bit of yeast in each bottle, maybe a touch of sugar if you're uh, if you're that way inclined as a brewer, and the beer then will 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 the second fermentation kicks up again and it naturally carbonates the bottle of beer. But if you see big lumps, chunks, shopping trolleys, tires in the bottom of your glass, don't worry about it. It's it's all full of vitamin B. It, it's brewer's yeast.
and that's very much more of a turbocharged little bit of sweetness coming through now with that little bit of yeast added because some of the flavors drop to the bottom i'm getting more marmalade orange marmalade in the beer and a touch of lemon let's rate it wonderful beer from brewery deconic tripled at anders eight percent abv if you're ever in belgium visit the brewery it's well worth a visit but i'm going to rate it lovely head lovely looking beer classic belgium style i like it enough to give it an eight out of ten it's an eight out of ten from beer that, from from who it's an eight out of ten from real old craft beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom and cheers